Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, I'm really excited to show you this one because it's gone, um, it's been a long time since I've done something um, like this with the She Modern Pigments. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Um, it's just sort of a bit of a mis mishmash um, of lots of different sheer pigments that I've got. Um, some I've layered and put quite a bit on and others I've left quite, um, quite thin. So I've used some regular sheer pigment colours and I've used some of the neon ones as well. Um, so I will link everything in the description box that you need if you want to do these nails. Um, so yeah, I've put tips on and everything and I'm going to put some glue gel on. I'm just going to do one nail at first and then that gets cured for 30 seconds and then I'm going to put all of the pigments that I'm using on a little palette and then I can use just use some fine brushes just to sort of dot them on um, and spread them about a bit. I'm more like sort of pressing them on. Um, because I don't want them to cover a lot of the nail because I want a lot of different colours on each nail as well as a few clear bits as well because I'm going to be putting some um, flakes on as well because um, I'm just loving these sheer nails at the moment I know I've already done one with gel polish but I wanted to do it with these pigments as well because I just love the sort of see-through nails but not you know but with colour in as well and, and a bit of shimmer I just love I'm just loving that at the moment um, so that's what I was going to do with these. Um, so yeah, I'm just pressing it on really all over and I have put glue gel on each of the nails that I'm putting um, the pigments on. I have already put glue gel on so that the pigment sticks. Um, I've just cut some of it out of the video. So I've sped this up because it does take a while because I've got a lot of colours to use and I've got a lot of uh, pressing and patting and things like that. And as you can see it going on, you can see that I'm not trying to make it even. I'm not trying to make it, you know, in straight lines or even in a pattern or anything like that. Um, it's just sort of just little blobs of it sort of everywhere. Uh, I mean, you can do this however you want. Um, I'm using the neon colours on the ring finger and the index finger. And on the pinky finger and the middle finger, I'm using the regular sheer colours. And then when I'm happy with where the pigments are, I'm just using a fluffy brush just to brush all the excess off. And then moving on to the next nail. Um, so you'll be able to see when I've done the nails, um, one layer of the nails, that they do look... a quite pigmented but then when you put the second layer of the glue gel on um, it sort of makes them a bit more clear so that you don't really see the colours as much so I do go in with a second layer So after I've put a layer of glue gel on all the nails, after that first layer of the pigments, I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And then, as I said before, I'm just going in with a second layer. Um, now, I'm not trying to go over the colours exactly as I did them in the first place. Um, again, I'm doing this quite random as well. Um, sort of over, 
I'm sort of doing diagonal lines, but not making sure that they're straight or anything. Um, so in some places I'm going over the colour to make it stronger and in other places I'm um, doing it a bit softer so that not as much pigment sticks because um, I just want them to be really random and not, you know, not uniform at all. I just want them to be fun. Right, so what I'm doing is when I'm happy with that second layer of pigments, I'm putting some more glue gel on um, onto all of the nails because um, I did like how the colours were, but I wanted the white to be a little bit stronger. So as well as the sheer pigments, um, She Modern also do opaque pigments. So I've got the little pot of the white opaque pigments and I'm just putting a bit of that on my palette and I'm just making sure it's nice and smooth. And then again, I'm getting my fine liner brush and I'm just putting sort of splodges of that white all over the nail. Um, and I'm not pressing on it very hard because I don't want, um, you know, I don't want really thick bits of white. I do want it to stand out more than the other colors, but I don't want it to be too overpowering. So I'm gonna do that to all of the nails and then um, I'm gonna brush off all the excess before I put some of the grip gel on. Now, I didn't think about it at the time, but when I was doing this, I was thinking, oh, they look a bit like clouds. Um, so, yeah, I've seen a lot of cloud nails recently. So if you wanted to do clouds, this is another way that you could do it. It does go very well. Um, and if, if you look at it against the blue sheer pigment, it, they do look like clouds. I quite like how that looks. So, yeah, I'm just brushing off the dust. So I'm going to be adding some flakies onto these nails, but I'm going to put a coat of grip gel on. Now this is kind of like the glue gel, um, but it's a little bit stickier and it's mainly used for water decals so that when you've put them on, um, you, so you will cure this gel as you would with a normal gel. And then when you stick your water decals on, you can move them around a little bit so you've got a bit of flexibility. So if I put these flakes somewhere, and then I realised that I wanted to move it just a little bit, then it'd be fine using this grip gel, I could do that. Um, I didn't end up actually doing that because I was happy with where I put them. Um, so I've got one that shifts to a pink and one that shifts to a purple. So I'm just putting those where I want to put them and then um, and I'm making sure that I'm not putting too many on because I just want it to be very subtle. I don't want it to be all over the nail or really thick or anything like that. And what I need to do is, um, I'm happy with the colour and everything, but I just need to make sure um, that that white isn't as strong because if you look at it now, they do look like clouds. And I, I liked it, but that wasn't the look I was going for. So I decided to get the sparkling sheer white pigment out. And so I put some of that on the palette. And then what I did was I just went around the edge of each white splodge with the, with the sparkling pigment so that the edges didn't look as strong. And I really like the way that turned out because it did give it a little bit of glitter, a little bit of shimmer as well. And you know me, I love to put glitter on everything. So not having the glitter on was uh, was a bit sad. So I had to put some on somewhere. <laughs> so I put it on here and I really like the way it turned out. So after that's all on, I'm just going to brush off with the dusting brush. And then what I need to do is, because I'm happy with all the colours then, I need to encapsulate the nails. So I'm going to be using my clear builder gel and I'm going to be doing... Um, First a slip layer over each nail with the builder gel and then I'm going to start building up the nails by just floating the gel over.
So when all the gel is cured, and I do cure it for 60 seconds, the Builder Gel, um, and then I'm filing and buffing, and as you can see, I've done it now, so I'm going to get on with the top coat. And then you can see how gorgeous these nails look when they've been top coated. I mean, you could leave them matte and they do look really, really nice, but I just really prefer shiny. And it would kill me to put glitter on a nail and then leave it matte. I just can't do that. So I absolutely love these nails. I hope you like them and I hope you try it with whatever products that you've got. Um, I'm not sure whether this video is going to be going out when there is a She Modern sale on. She has had a sale recently. Um, but yeah, these pigments are absolutely amazing. I love using them. And there's all different things that you can do with them. You can make jelly nails with them so you could cover the entire nail in a colour. Um, and then you get jelly nails or you can mix them up like this. But let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope that this has helped to cheer you up a little bit. It helps me to, um, to cheer up doing the nails. So um, I'm really happy that I could do this. And yeah, so let me know what you think of these nails. Here they are all finished. And I'll put some photos on at the end. And then I will see you next time in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've got a few recently. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in, in my next video. See you next time. Bye.